Hello, everybody. I'm Ian Gibson. He's Will Crosby. And this is Minecraft Vanilla. Will, this was your idea. You've been uh, talking about it, yammering about it for literally months. I want to say like six to 12 months, probably. I want to say, I think you brought it up the last time we played Minecraft, which was the start of Pandemic. Yes. Oh, man. That yes. A long time ago. Um, so, yeah. But here's the thing is that this is not necessarily the sandbox. This is Pixelcraft. The idea is this is a subpixel community uh, Minecraft server. So if you want to join this server, um, we're going to throw the link in the chat. We're also going to throw the link in our community discord. We've also got uh, a channel set up in our community discord that kind of syncs with the game chat. It's going to be up for at least three or four months. I kind of like the idea of having just a long-term server. Whenever you want to play Minecraft, you hop in. We're going to try and build like a nice community together and just have fun. Um, so I'm excited. We're probably going to stream, I don't know, maybe once a month or once every two months. Just kind of check in. But yeah. the server's going to be live the whole time. And you're more than welcome to join in. So let's uh, let's kick it off. Um, so uh, I think the plan is, first things first... We need to find a spawn. So you need, get, you need to get the hot shaders, dude. Bro. I do, but I'm worried about the stream. Oh, gotcha. I'm not running a, the resource pack. I'm only running the shader. Um, because I think the resource pack is too much. Oh, I'm facing west. Let's go south. Are you in here? Yeah, I, I just saw you. Oh, yep, ahead. I see you. All right, so here's the deal, folks. If you are watching, what we're going to do is we're going to find the spawn. We're going to do the slash set spawn command to set that as the spawn. And then um, we're going to release the hounds. We're going to let you guys join the server. I just wanted to set the spawn first because this is not a great location. And even though you can build wherever you want on this server, I kind of want us to build together in a way to have like a central village around the spawn. Um, Big tree over there. There's a lot of... Are you still with me? Um, I forgot how hard it is to see player name plates in this game. Uh, yeah. We're I both heading. You even less. We're both heading south, right? Yeah, I kind of went west. Oh, well, go stand on top of a tree, then we'll be able to see each other. Oh. I, should be. I keep I keep seeing. I'm just gonna head. I'm still heading south. Go ahead. No, those are cows. Ooh, there's a big mountain southwest. Let's rally there. I almost think we build around there. Do you have a compass? Yeah, if you hit um, F3, and then like halfway down on the left-hand side. Oh, okay, you're doing I mean, that's not cheating, right? No, 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 it's not cheating. I, I just thought maybe you were being a special boy. Yeah, my argument why it's not cheating is because otherwise I have to keep looking up at the sun. So it's totally doable in game. Yeah, so it, let's talk about cheats real quick. Uh, don't cheat on the server. Don't grief on the server. Um, we do have some mods enabled. So things that make like server commands easy. We have a map that you can view from your browser, which is real neato. That's going to be That's live really updating. Um, we also have grief prevention, which is a. Oh, yeah, Will, I think this is it. Yeah, uh, I lost. What's your cords? Uh, negative seventy four. Negative seventy five four twenty five. Negative seventy four. Four twenty. Okay, so you really can. Oh, that's yeah. Really good. I'm gonna open the map on my second screen. Yeah, you yeah, just yeah, you just keep going. That big mountain, oh, I'm okay. near there. Okay. I there were two big mountains, so I wasn't sure which one you were talking about. You know, we I, should have done the thing where I sent you my my screen. Oh. Oh, I mean we can still do that, ninja. No, I refuse now. Um I gotta fix my well, I guess I just go full screen. My computer does like being hot, though, because the fan has definitely turned on. Oh, this is good, Ian. There's a little pumpkin patch. Yeah, so I think Ooh. right where I'm standing is the spawn for right now, but I think this is the main village area. Oh, and then we can build a castle. Can, yeah, okay, so 
if you don't mind, let's release the hounds. Will is going to be putting in the restream chat and also on the Discord server the link to join this uh, beautiful, beautiful map. I need to... Um, How do I un... Make it private. No. I think it's like, isn't it like permissions? Yeah, permissions. No. Oh, at everyone. No. Uh, no. Read messages. No. There we go. They can't send messages here, correct? No, no, they can't. Okay, so I'll turn send messages. You ready for the crazy part? Get ready. So that should have popped up in the channel. Hey, it did. Yeah. And now if you say something in the Discord. Yeah. Okay. There we go. What am I posting in the restream chat? Just the uh, link? Uh, yeah, I would do exclamation point Discord. So if you guys are watching. Yeah, if you guys are watching and you want to join. Um, and wow, oh, come on! I typed and, and it logged me out. <laughs> what does that even mean? Wow! How did I get this far? If you're gonna log me out, uh oh, wow. super high resolution. Uh, uh oh, it's nighttime. Uh oh, getting the tree. Oh, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna now build. I have to, I have to tell it what parking meters are. What? It was a captcha. Uh oh. Oh, I almost pasted our password. Oh. Uh, okay. There's the Discord link, but for those of you who are very lazy. Actually, no. You gotta join the Discord to get the get the list. And you go to yeah. the Minecraft channel. Um, yeah, we're doing that. Yeah, so that's if you've. There's coal right here. Oh, we start with stuff too. I just realized. Yeah, we start with like basic tools. I don't even know how I enabled that, but it must have come in one of the packs. Probably. <laughs> Yeah, these, um, I'm using the Sonic Ether shaders, just the free ones. Oh. Because it adds, like, the realistic lighting. So I, I'm using the, um, well, I'm not using it right now, because it is a little bit taxing, but there's a fake ray tracing one that I've used before that looks phenomenal. Ooh. You, you should try that. Um, because unfortunately we can't use the real ray tracing, because it's the, uh, Windows 10 version only. Oh, I'm so excited. I, I'm ready to play some Minecraft. Keep hitting shift to run. Oh, yeah. Was there vein mining or you couldn't find it? Oh, you know what? I think there is. I, I think it's shift. Oh, it is shift. That's nice. Um, what? What did I make inventory? Oh, it's Oh, I want to... These cows. Uh, I want to, like, fence them in immediately. Go get some wood. Oh, yeah, that's the other handy one. Is the, uh... We talked about the vein mining, but for those at home... You don't know that. It basically just... Instead of having to mine the whole thing out... It does it automatically for you, but you still get, like, the punishment for it. You know, the total durability and stuff. It's just really handy. 
Uh, the other thing about nice about the shaders is you can hold a torch and it lights up the area around uh -oh. you. Can you, uh... Ow. 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 Daddy's hurt. Okay, never mind. We're good. I had like four zombies chase me, but I think they finally stopped. Let's take them out. Oh. Hi, Cyberlong. It spawned inside of me for half a second. Oh. Oh, there's also death chest. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, but it only lasts for ten minutes, so... Oh, that's that's. Uh, I like that compromise. Oh no, I feel bad for you, Cyberlong. You joined in, and there's oh, all these oh, mobs I everywhere. I, I think I also turned off PVP. Oh. I need to a furnace. Cook up some food. Uh oh. <gasps> How did that not kill me? <laughs> You're invincible. Do I like right. hear? Oh, it's these cows walking around. They sound like elephants. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fence them in real quick. No. I forgot how to Minecraft. Oh, they make a little recipe book now. That's cute. We got a bunch of creepers around us. No. Come here. Uh oh. Oh, there are a lot of creepers. Oh, yeah, it must have oh, cool. creeper damage off by default. Yes, and it puts it in automatically. This is very good. Yeah. Well, now I don't need food. Okay, just to say it out loud, my priority right now is I'm gonna build some fences just to temporarily fence in this these uh cattle and stuff. Good idea. Uh once the sun comes up, I think I might get a garden going perhaps. Yeah, we're gonna need some food. Okay, I need to switch uh tab to be my inventory. This log. How do I? I know tab. Change that to tilde. Oh man, I need to like. There we go. And I keep hitting E on things to use them. Which is not how this works. Oh, oh can I not build a... Uh oh, come here, buddy. Oh, I forgot about the swinging mechanics. I think jumping you crit, too? Oh, Cyberlong saying the bed. Do we have a bed? There are so many zombies. I don't think... Oh, I have the bed. I have the bed. I'm gonna put it here. There's the bed. Huzzah! Whew. Okay, alright. Good thinking, Cyberlong. Thank God you're in here. Cyber long 2077. So I did add a mod, which I believe makes it half, which I guess is half rounded up. Mm. Yes. Half rounded down? I don't know. Yeah, rounded down. Just rounded up would be two people, right? Mm. It's uh, too early for math. It's 914. Mm. Where them cows go? Hi, cows. Come here. No. 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 
collecting a lot of charcoal. Uh oh. No, back it up. Back it up. Thirty-one entities. Thank you. No, cow. Come on. You know what? I'm done. I decided to slaughter the cows instead. <laughs> Give me your steak. Uh, do you have any goals for this? Uh... The stream or just the server? Uh, let's go both. Uh, goals for the server. I want to make a cool house or a castle or something. Because uh, I feel like the server being on for a while will help like maintain that. Yeah. Because um, I always like lose steam. And then my other goal for this stream is to set up the food production. Got it. I'm trying to figure out where I want to... I don't want to build it too close to the spawn because I feel like it spawns like town square. Oh, you know what? Uh, That's what I should do is I should set up a nice little spawn area real quick, which is probably this height. Yeah, I'm going to build the garden. I'm going to map out an area over here. Fence it off. Have a nice little garden. Okay. I think. Oh, this is lovely over here. Okay. And then this becomes a sign. Need more wood. I saw the sign. Uh, so how you been, buddy? You've been continuing to play Cyberdunk? Cyberdunk? Yeah, I've been playing Cyberpunk. Uh, I've been watching... Um, so I've been watching and doing After Effects work a lot. Um, because I was rotoscoping a bunch of things. Mm -hmm. um, so I've been watching through uh, Vinny and Alex play Mass Effect 2. Oh, yeah. And I just got to 3. I was thinking to myself, I was like, oh, I should play 3. Instead of watching them play it. And then I was like, nah, I'm just going to watch them play it. Yeah. Um, so I'm doing that. And then uh, I've also, I've just been editing a bunch. Uh, that Iceland behind the scenes. Um, oh, the, I forgot there's a campfire. There's a Oh, Cyberlong. I forgot they added that. Yeah, we we have not played. When was the last vanilla version we, we played, at least me, was right before the ocean update. Yeah, mine was... The one I I distinctly remember being excited for was the original 1.8 that added villages. I think it added villages and rivers. And I remember Zach oh, and yeah. I were very excited for that. Yeah, I um, can see that. So yeah, I've been editing a bunch, the, the ice behind the scenes, and then uh, I'm cranking out mm -hmm. this Dwarf Fortress for mm -hmm. Monday. Um, I, I was originally going to do the Iceland for Monday, but I need about 200 gigs worth of video files and I cannot download them. So I'm going to get them at work on Monday. Like a smart boy. Okay, I'm putting the spawn right here. Cool. You know what? That was probably a poor decision. I. Okay, and then I need some Yorches. Uh, my goal for this stream is I'd like to get a little bit of the infrastructure laid out. Um, if that makes sense, so that we, we have... So people who are joining the server don't feel like they're joining a blank canvas, that they have at least a little bit of a like, oh, this is what people are doing, this is the town. Yeah, you should set up, you should find out exactly where it is and then set up 360 signs that say, hey, like type out some stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have one sign up. It just says welcome, but that's good enough for now. 
Does um, it say uh, always be sucking? Because that's a huge commandment if you're going to be part of a subpixel server. That's true. Um, yeah, so maybe I'll just make a little, like, I'll make a little hut. And it has... Maybe like a little pavilion, and it has like a chest, and it's like, welcome. I'm not going to do the rules typed out. That's too much. Maybe like for no. rules and info, check out the Discord. And yeah. then I'll do like... Put the link. Yeah, and then like a chest. So we can just dump stuff in the chest. Like maybe somebody has a stack of coal, they dump it in the chest. You know. Oh, Cyber. Long found a, found a ravine. Oh, man, I have the... If you look at the map... You may have missed it. Watch this. Ready? Oh. Yeah, it's popping a chat bubble on the, like the Dyn map. So Dyn map basically is it's a browser web page that anybody can go to and see a live map of the server. Oh, there's a cave over there too. I'm gonna go mark it. I should change my name to Hunt270. So people so, know who I am. So there is um, a way of getting the names on the server, the Minecraft server and the Discord server to sync, but it's... Um, complicated? Well, no, it's not complicated. It's just I don't know how it works, and it, I think it may change your name on the Discord server, and I know there's a lot of people. Um, I would say the seed. I'm not sure. Oh, wow. Yeah, Cyberlong. This is a crazy ravine. And there's lava down there, too. What? Why does Cyberlong seem so familiar to me? He's been around. No, is there a game called Cyberlong? There's Cyber... I mean, there's Nightlong. Nightlong. Union City Conspiracy. Union City Conspiracy. Conspiracy. Is that a better game than Cyberpunk? No. Ooh. No. More entertaining than Cyberpunk? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> totally. I was thinking about that time when we were playing it, and we kept saying those things that Jake needed to do. He just cut a picture of a clip of himself saying no. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Jake, can you... Uh... Yeah. Can you put that both was... of us on? That was back when we could be lazy. Yeah. That was back when Jake edited everything. Now he just edits 75% of the stuff. <laughs> I just sit on top of my Dwarf Fortress throne. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to start a mine. A mine. It's going to be going no. into the map. That thing deleted my stuff right as it happened. Let me know if I should tone that down a bit or maybe it's just bad luck. Like... It's at, what, I mean, 60 seconds right now? Yeah. I mean, I feel like it's happening very often. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh. Nope. Thanks, Cyber. Cyber long. I think I can also do... I, re I found out today that the... Um, Satisfactory and Deep Rock Galactic have the same publisher. Yeah, I could see that. And same with like Midnight Ghost. Although I think, I think Coffee Stain, the developer, also directly makes Satisfactory, but the publishing part of them publishes it and uh, Deep Rock. Oh, there's a village just southwest of us. Every time, every time I mine, my lights flicker. Oh wow. <laughs> because my uh, 
because of this shaving pack. <laughs> it's probably not a good thing. Need to make some. Make another furnace. Put some wood in it. Go make a shovel, but I'm too lazy. Hmm, hmm, hmm. But da dum. <laughs> Trying to decide what I'm gonna play after Cyberpunk. Um. Hmm. There was. Uh, I don't want to really I don't think I want to play these games right now, but there's a on the Xbox sale. You can get Watch Dogs Legions and Valhalla for $70, which is crazy if you're really into those games. That's not bad, but I think I think there's a pack that is $80 and it's Origins Odyssey and Valhalla. That's I would that's honestly the do that deal. if I didn't already have Origin. I'd just be like, oh. you know what? I'm going to buy this now. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot you have versions. Oh, there's a, a doggy. It's a wolf. Yeah, like, um, but Valhalla is like forty four bucks, and I was like, eh. I was also thinking Monster Hunter World with the ice thing oh, no. is thirty. It isn't on Game Pass or not anymore. It is on Game Pass, but it doesn't include ice Iceborne. I but wouldn't... I figured I might as well just play it on Game Pass first, and then if I like it, I'll just buy Iceborne. There you go. Um, like a smart human being. Yes. Um something else i wanted to play yeah i don't know I'm hi hark for another long game what's up harconium cronium Oi. um Oi. we're just kind of goofing around feel free to do whatever hey uh if everyone who joins the game can also watch the twitch stream <laughs> we don't need that <laughs> honestly that would be great <laughs> You know, can I just say, this is a bit of a humble brag, but I think one of the best things about Subpixel is that none of us are, like, all of us are financially stable enough that we don't care that much about the money. Otherwise, yeah, we would have, like, either quit or we would have just turned into terrible people by now. Like, a terrible right. channel. Because we, like, don't... Yeah. It'd be different... If like yeah, like you said, if we needed the money or if we had like grand schemes, but we really yeah, don't. it's like I'd rather wait. If we got money, then we can do bigger things. Yeah, I think it's just like in terms of motivation, it's just like play games and share that fun, and also just like goof around and make videos we think would be fun to make. Although I'm not saying if tomorrow our channel blew up and we had billions of dollars coming in. I wouldn't say no to that. Yeah, but I just mean, like, do you know what, uh, you know, Dunky, you know what he's been doing lately? Uh, no, I do not. I, I barely know, but so he has his style, right? And I think, I don't know if he was doing this because YouTube was kind of screwing him over or because he just felt like it, but he was just like, hey, my style is not the normal style, the normal, like, YouTuber style. So for an entire week, I'm going to put out at least one video a day in the YouTuber style, it's like, hey guys, what's up? Today we're gonna build Legos. Yo, check this out, blah, blah, blah. You know, just like, and so he's been doing it and the YouTube algorithm loves it and he's been getting <laughs> crazy views. That's awesome. Um, so Hark, what I'm doing right now is I'm just trying to build out the spawn in terms of making it like a little pavilion. But I say, do whatever you want. So the, the just to bring you up to speed, this is kind of our, uh, what do I call it? This is kind of like the town center. You can go anywhere you want, build wherever you want, but I thought it'd be nice if we all kind of build around this area. So just feel free to do whatever. Yeah, I'm setting up food over here. Oh, you're you're further. Yeah, these nameplates. Yeah. They're a little big. No, I mean on the in the game. Oh, 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 oh. I think you can adjust that. Okay, let me adjust that. I could be wrong. Um, but my whole point of saying that was like, if we really cared, then we would 
be doing the whole YouTuber style, which is not very creative, yeah. honestly. The other nice thing is, like, we've tapped in a couple, uh, like, niche mm -hmm. um, things. And we also have people who, like, enjoy watching our content, which is nice. Although I do miss Stream Mom. Yeah. I miss him, too. Uh, I hope he watches these archives. Stream Mom, comment if you watch these archives. Yeah. I'm sorry you can't watch Twitch. Honestly, I miss... I mean, I don't miss YouTube because you have to set up the stupid event. Um, but I kind of still miss YouTube. What am I doing? The wrong Yeah. How do I yep. build a fence again? Um, Just look up the recipe. Oh, right. The, there's a recipe book now. Man, they made this so easy for you youngsters. Oh, and then... Did they change how a st they changed to stone slabs? No, it's been stone slabs. There's stone slabs and then there's cobblestone slab. Oh, wait, what are you trying to build? Look, that's a stone slab. Yeah, those have been. Oh, stone slab. Sorry, I was thinking of like the smooth stone slabs. No, that is that is. I, so I, I put cobblestone, oh. turned it into stone in the furnace, and then I made a slab. So they don't look like the way they used to anymore? Oh, that's kind of upsetting because I made that. I always, that was like a building staple for me. That was like the floor of the castle. Yeah. It made it look so good. I bet there's a way to still do it. It was like a tile. Oh, there are still the old ones? Okay, let me look it up. <laughs> Quick, before Ian starts crying. <laughs> I know there's the stone bricks. Maybe I'll just do stone bricks. Uh, if anyone has seeds, uh, you can throw them at me. Oh no, but now... I need to open the wiki. Let's see. Uh, Mine, craft, stone, slab. Do you want a bone? Nope, didn't love me. Someone goes, oh, thank you. You're the best. Good morning. <laughs> so many times can you say good morning? Uh, there's stone. For... Stone cutting? Oh, yeah, there's like a stone cutting thing now. I probably should have looked this stuff up, honestly. Stone cutter. Stone finger. All right, I'm going to go try to find. Does anybody have a single iron ingot? I should no. build a chest. Do you remember when fence posts couldn't, like, they took, like, maybe 20, 15, 20 seconds to break down and you axes didn't speed it up? Yeah. That was awful. Oh, no, wait. Sorry, guys. I gotta unclaim this. So, just to let you guys know, the way claiming works is you put down a chest. The first time you put down a chest ever... It claims the land around it, but you can just type slash unclaim to get rid of that. Um, gotcha. Uh, I have some food on me. Some cooked pork chops. I don't know how I have them. Or steak. How did I get these? Um, although I'm kind of hoping that we're so chill on the server that we don't really have to claim unless you feel like you absolutely have to. Because it's kind of annoying if you claim it, then you got to like manually let other people in. Four. One, two, three, four. There. Do I have cobbles?
Um, but in terms of games that you should play after you're done with Cyberpunk, Minecraft. That's true. I'm in a struggle right now where I'm not even sure if I am going to finish Cyberpunk before I really get into Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, I... Yeah. Um... Hark is asking how Cyberpunk is. Spoiler free, it's... There's good stuff in there, but you've got to deal with a lot. And some of it's bugs, some of it's bad design. But you just kind of... I don't want to say you have to deal with it, but... Yeah. It's, it's, it's a lot to go through to play the game, basically. Yeah. Um, it's like, I'm enjoying it, but... Yeah, there's just so many bugs like i had to restart a mission because a guy fell through the floor today oh i i thankfully i haven't had any i've had a couple of like soft locks like three or four second freezes although i've only had two or three of those uh there's definitely a whole lot of bugs all over the place like for example i was playing a mission today and i had like a graphical glitch i had a character who was not lip syncing anymore um i had a character who um not doing animations properly like they come out of an elevator and their coat is floating above them then it snaps to them it's just like <laughs> there's bugs constantly and i'm not super bothered by them i'm more bothered that there's a lot of mechanics like that are not good like i, I did this mission today and they wanted you to do it stealthy and um the guy's like remember go in no go in get it come out nobody need to know and i'm like Stealth in this game sucks. So I walk in, I start shooting people. Literally every time I shoot somebody to start combat, he just goes, oh no, take care of him quick. And I just like full blown combat. <laughs> and the whole time he's like, he's like, okay, quiet now. And then I like shoot somebody and he's like, get rid of him before anybody notices. And literally the entire time I'm just dumping mags into everybody. It was like, it was like an encounter. They wanted you to go to stealthy. But you weren't locked into stealth, which I'm happy with. But, like, the NPC that was on the line with me, like, refused to acknowledge that it was no longer a stealthy mission. <laughs> and it was it was just bonkers. That one I managed to stealth. Uh, only because I have... I, man, I exclusively use that contagion now. Because I hit one guy with contagion and, like, a group of ten enemies all die. Because they I should, it's, yeah, it's, I should, I should try that. But honestly, the the sniper rifle is just like, oh, the, it's the, dirty. The, the quest one, have you gotten that one? No, I, I well, I don't know if I have or not, but I, I think like any of them, they're just yeah. dirty. There's a quest one that's crazy. More fencing. Hey, if someone wants to make me a bucket. I don't think we have any iron. Oh. At least not yet. Someone wants to go get iron? At some point, we should go into that ravine. Oh, I'm just, oh this is going to look ugly now. I built the wrong kind of fence. What kind of fence is this? Oh, we should get that mod that when you look at something, it tells you what it is. Oh, J-E-I? Yeah. Yeah, I, I was thinking about doing that. Um, Oops. But the problem is that, like, it kind of half works. Like, you can't do the right-click to add and automatically add ingredients. Because uh. I think that requires a client mod. So you can... Like, I had it installed, but it was, like, giving you half and half. But you could totally install it. I think you can install it on your client and be fine with it. And then there's another one called, like, hey, what am I looking at? Hey, what are you looking at? Something like that. And it basically does the JEI thing where you look at something and it tells you what it is. Yeah, so this is not like a, lo a lockdown. I mean, there's definitely like no cheating, no griefing, etc. But you can load mods and run it off your client. Yeah, Cyberlong has it. H-W-I-L-A. So you can totally join with a modded client. And um, if you have local ones you want to run. One, two, four... 
Um, but yeah, like I'm, I, I, it, it's like I know I want to mainline Cyberpunk because it may be some of the side quests, because that's where the good content is. But it's also like some of those main story missions have like really long cutscenes with a lot of dialogue. Oh yeah. The other stuff that really annoys me is this game will give you a choice mm -hmm. and then you choose one of them and then if then you can tell that it took the other choice anyways like the like the person you're talking to dismisses it and then yeah. like pick the other thing. And then the other thing I don't like is I did a quest and I made a choice and I was like, "Hey, you're being crazy. I I don't want to do this." And it said it went okay, and then it said quest failed, and ended the quest. Oh, oh, oh there's a man with a banner. He's hurting me. Help, help! My, Where? my troops. He's ah, he's got a crossbow and he's arring at me. Where did I'm you scared. go? I'm I'm at my. Are we my southeast? Garden. Southeast. Ow! Ow! He's saying ow too. Please stop wow. shooting me. Who is that? Oh, it hurts. I'm running. I like this guy. Oh, thank you. Oh, he dropped a an ominous banner. He's a pillager. What is th in that this game? Literally terrifying. That's crazy. Oh, it's a patrol. Spooky. Um. Anyways, so I was doing quests and I. I was like, oh, no, you're crazy. I don't want to do that. And it's a quest failed. And I'm like, Why? I kind of like that, to be honest with you, though. No, but I would rather it be like, OK, quest result, like quest finished because you're done with the oh. quest. But telling me I failed it makes me think I did something wrong mm -hmm. when that's just the way I chose to complete the quest. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. 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 I see what you're saying. It's a syntax. Yeah. So I'm like, I, yeah, I would rather it be like, hey, like, give me a bonus for being like, hey, you're not a horrible person. Um, but yeah. instead, it was like, oh, no question. Yeah, it's like, it's it's such a weird complaint to be like, there's too much story in the main quest. But I think the reason why it's rubbing me the wrong way is because most of the side quests and side gigs are not good. And, and my recommendation is just like, ignore them unless they have a character or a hook that you're interested in. And then the problem is... Okay, but that means you're going to be doing these main quests, which is significantly ups the percentage of your game playing that is going to be cutscenes and conversations. And even though that's they're not bad, it's just like it's kind of like the Yakuza problem where there's just a lot, a lot, you know. I also feel like the main quest is kind of short. Yeah, if it's, I'm not done with it yet, but I th I think I'm. I think I can judge the length of it so far, and it does seem a little short. I, I hit the point in no return, so granted, I don't know how how many missions are after that, but um, yeah, it just I felt like I did a lot more side content and not as much as the uh, other stuff. Yeah. Oh, I just made five shovels like a smart person. Um, okay, there's like a, a Harkronium. Uh, there's like a, I think there's a tunnel underneath you because if you stand right here, it's just spiders and zombies. Ah, uh, yeah, I noticed that. Um, so just be aware for that when you go to decide to make a basement. That uh, you're probably going to run into some issues. Issues, as they call them. Swiss. Oh, I can't vein mine dirt. Oh. No, there's there's certain ones you can't vein mine. Um but Yeah, crazy. Crazy stuff with Cyberpunk. Can, can yeah. I just introduce you to a little bit of a controversy that's happening right now? A little what? bit of a hot take comp competition in a way. Hot take competition. People are saying... I've, I've seen a couple comparisons, but I'm seeing more people complaining about the comparison who are saying, like, 
the Cyberpunk launch and the No Man's Sky launch are completely different, and Cyberpunk is a much worse launch. And I'm going, I don't know that I'd agree with that. What, what do you think? Uh, as far... In terms of, like, which had the worst launch, and then there were people saying that they're not even comparable, as in the Cyberpunk one is way, way worse. And I'm like... I, think I don't think I'd comparable. call it way, way worse, but I feel like the No Man's Sky is different because No Man's Sky was at least a... I mean, it, it was overhyped a lot, but I feel like... It was less broken. Way less broken, although there were issues. Yes. But... I don't know, it wasn't as... I'm trying to... Think I don't know, I mean, I, I feel like it, it was, it like was less... pretty different. It was less broken, but it was still pretty broken. And then the other thing is Cyberpunk. I don't know. I mean, they did, Cyberpunk did deceive in terms of like it runs on a PS4 and Xbox One, which it pretty much doesn't. But I think the No Man's Sky deception is much worse. Of basically misrepresenting what was in the game to the extent of saying multiplayer was in the game when it wasn't. Um, and so I'm not saying that it's worse, but there were people just like complaining, being like, you absolutely cannot compare these. And it's like, no, you can. I feel like you I can. think it was more of like a lot of people when they fired up No Man's Sky, they're like, oh, this game doesn't have that. That's dumb. OK. Versus Cyberpunk was had been hyped for so long and people are just like, no, this game. I mean, people unreasonably are like, no, this game needs to have everything. Yeah. But at the same time. No Man's, I, no Man's Sky had that, remember? Because because all their stuff was just like, it's an entire universe you can explore. It's procedurally generated. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. I and agree they promised all saying, that, and it wasn't really in there. As, I, I think, think it Cyberpunk was. Cyberpunk was more hyped than No Man's Sky. Oh, yeah, Cyberpunk brings up Keanu. Keanu did bring up the hype factor a lot. Yeah. And also, I, like, I knew people who couldn't give a crap about uh, No Man's Sky, but I pretty much everyone knew what cyberpunk was yeah that's true but i i was just there are people who are no man's sky defenders on twitter like prominent journalists just being like you absolutely cannot compare it blah 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 like cyberpunk is so much worse no man's sky didn't even really have that bad of a launch and i'm like they're like plus it's okay because no man's sky made up for it and i'm like not really all they did was add content but they still haven't fixed like core issues with the game you know so it's like I don't know. I just I, I figure it's worth bringing up because it's a it's kind of related to the cyberpunk controversy. I mean, No Man's Sky is a better game than cyberpunk. Yeah. I don't think it is. <laughs> I was wondering what you would say. I don't know. If it um, is, a game. is that the is that the Raiders icon in the top right? Do you have an icon in your top right? I don't. Oh, maybe it's because I killed him. I'm going to look oh, it up. That could be. Oh, pillager. Oh, I need to make a hoe. They're hostile illagers armed with crossbows. They participate in raids. Okay, so they're like a... Oh, called Bad Omen. I, I, I forgot how to... Do you, do you guys remember how to like use your your cursor you know i'm talking about the click elements in the ui i mean you can only use your cursor if you're in like a menu no because i know you can click on things in the chat i'm gonna look it up oh really this i did not know oh raw chicken oh app dapple Drink milk before going to a village. Oh, yeah, that's for me. Oh, wow. Somebody's got a real good house set up already. Damn, Hark. I think that's a uh, Harkronium. This looks good. Yeah, I'm going to start looking for surface iron. Well, we can go down in the ravine if you want. No, it's okay. Daddy wants to be safe. Oh, I need to make a chest. I need to figure out where I'm going to put my house. I mean, honestly, I think I want to build a castle on top of this mountain. 
Yeah. I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, the ravine is northeast. Um, if you look across the river, I marked it. Hi, Zach. Uh-oh. Zach, I'm too busy to be on stream tonight. Crosby has joined. Wow. A real piece of work that guy is. Real piece of work. Pizza work. Pizza work. Oh, hi, Han. Oh, all right. I'm Boba Fett, right? Has anybody made a bubble tea Boba Fett joke? I mean, somebody's yeah, had to. I mean, you right? just did. Awesome. Can I put this ominous banner down, or is that going to be a bad thing? Let's put it down. Let's see what happens. Put it on the on the welcome pavilion. It's got a little physics to it. I like it. Can I not use this? Oh, I can use this chest. More like Boba Fat. All Putting right. a bunch of raw food in here for people to do with as they want. Hi, can I get a Boba Fat milk tea? Okay, uh, what, do you, fat, what do you Boba think fat? the odds are? What do you think the odds are that there is a bubble tea place somewhere in the United States that has a menu item called the Boba Fett? Um, pretty high. Yeah, I'm going to go 90%. What'd you say, Zach? Oh, we need more beds. Oh. I forgot how to make oh, a it's bed. Super long left. No, I think we need another person to leave. Um, I, I think I can make a bed. I have enough wool. We'll be okay. Maybe. What, Maybe three wood on. Yeah, I'm in a bed. We're good. Someone come sleep with me. PG thirteen, please. Zach. Oh, uh, me and Cyber. Oh Are no! Wait, not... there's five of us now. Oh no! No, rounded half rounded down. Should be two, right? I don't know. Is it rounded down? You guys can get out of bed now if you want. You, are you guys uh, not done yet? I kinda, I'm not done. How much wool is it? Done. I'm going to leave the game. I'll leave the game. Oh, but now no one's sleeping with me. I've left the game. Sleep, children. Sleep. Oh, Zach left too. Everyone. <laughs> so everyone. Bye! Bye! <laughs> Wait, there's only two people on the stream. How is it not? Oh, no, I had to get out of bed oh, and re-click it. We're all good. I had to, like, recalculate it. Come back. Yeah, there, there was one which said anybody can jump in a bed. Like, it just needed one person, but I didn't want to do that in case, you know, people yeah, are hunting. Yeah, in case someone hunting. wants it to be nighttime. Yeah. I'm going to go... Um, I got a sheep over here. I'll slaughter. How much wool is it that you need? For a bed? Yeah. Three. Three wool on three wood. Plank. Okay. Um, the other thing I want to set up, long-term goal for the server. I had this on a server once. I didn't make it. Somebody else did, but it was a great idea. It was like a, a nether highway. So basically the idea is you, like for example, we don't have desert near us as far as I can tell. So if we want sand, we gotta go like somewhere else. So the idea is you hop in the nether, there's a walkway with a sign that says desert and you just walk like 200 blocks down a walkway and then you pop out of the nether and you're inside the desert. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. yeah, Nether Hub. That's a good way of putting it, Cyberlong. Um, I that website. So Cyberlong, I think I think I did install the sleep one you said, but I did not look at the config. So I'll have to look at the config. Do we not have? We oh, we do have offhand. Yes, I can hold the torch and just mine. Oh, I love this shader. Oh. 
And I broke my tool. Hello. Oh, can't get out of here. Oh no, this recipe bed sucks. I mean, this recipe book sucks. I Like, I just want to make a bed. Oh, there it is. Yeah. But it keeps showing you the color versions, you know? Yeah, well. Okay, <laughs> fair point. Needs to be the same color. Oh, oh yeah, don't be stupid. Whoops. Yeah. I'm just gonna put I'm putting wool in here because I, I don't have it three of the same kind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Cyrus got iron. Congratulations, my boy. Uh, it does have vein mining, Zach. It's a uh, shift. But it's only certain items, like wood and I think actual veins. I'm not taking the sign down because I don't like it. I'm taking it down because I wanted to make it look more like a mine. Oh, you burned yourself on the campfire. Oh, Will, we should tell our Christmas story. What's our Christmas story? The other day... Um, so Maggie was wrapping my Christmas presents, as oh, in the presents yes. for me. And um, she like locked me in the bedroom, and then she came back out, and she's like, I opened one of the presents for you. Tell the story. It's a funny story. Is it about me? Yeah, it's about when you opened the present. Oh, I haven't told it yet, so don't spoil it. So, she had opened the box that had my present in it, and she said, It's damaged, but I don't know if it's worth returning or not. As in, I don't know if the damage is... Do you have the word damage? Yeah. And, 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 or no, she said, I think it's been opened. But I don't know if I should return it or not. And I was like, oh, I don't know. And she goes... So what do we do? Like, clearly she wanted my opinion on it, but at the same time she didn't want to spoil the Christmas surprise. And I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? And then I was like, you know what? Stroke of, stroke of brilliance. <laughs> I was like, Maggie, just call Will and ask him because he'll give the same idea. He'll give the same answer that I would. <laughs> you know? And so she, she called Will on video chat. They took a look at my present. They decided on whatever they decided on, and that was that. But I thought that was hilarious. Just call like, Will, what did you think when I called you and, and explained what was going on? I thought someone was dead. <laughs> yeah, because like I called your phone number, which we never uh, do. I'll have you know, Ian and I only communicate over Discord. We don't even yeah. text. Yeah, text The only sucks. time we text is when we drive to each other. Yeah. So I saw a phone call, and I was like, someone's dead. <laughs> yeah, it was me. I, I don't died. Know who. I was calling you to tell you that I died. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Karen also rendered her opinion, um, so I'm sorry about your damaged Corvette, but... I was, I was just, my joke was, <laughs> um, so Maggie's gonna be shipping it to you, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what, he's I, not I, gonna I, like I, that, <laughs> and you're not gonna return it anyway, just ship it up here. I just, like, the thing that, that got my mind was I was just like, I was like, what if it's g a giant gunpla? And it's damaged, <laughs> and my dad wouldn't know the right answer, but Will would know the right answer. So let's call Will. I mean, damage was a, is a heavy word. Yeah. It was very funny, and I was like, yeah, we rendered our opinions. So. Yeah. So, uh, so I, I, I'm curious to get the, the longer debrief once, um, once uh, at Christmas has occurred. Thing, if anyone wants it, I just needed enough for a bucket. Hello, my name bucket. Actually, I might take one more to make a, a bubble butt. Yeah, the present I got Karen, the first time I ordered it, it was stolen. So then I had to wait for it to go on sale again because Amazon refused to send me another one at the sale price. Oh, wow. Uh, which was the worst. So the person who stole it got a fancy smartwatch and 
a tripod uh, plate to a tripod they do not own. <laughs> did you at least get refunded? I got refunded fully, but I said, can you just send me another one? They said, no, we're not allowed to do that. And I said, you oh. suck, sir, but it's not your oh. fault, so I'm not going to yell at you. <laughs> what? Uh, which watch did she get? Uh, I was, uh, I got it in the fossil something. Oh, yeah, those are good ones. I, I'm in this weird thing where, like, my current smartwatch doesn't... She doesn't know, so should... Oh, sh it doesn't... No, she... It doesn't stay synced to my phone, so it's just uh, like a watch. But the problem is the smartwatch market is like, do you want these cool features like where you get notifications and the phone and the watch is nice, but it has like a four day battery life or maybe an eight day battery life. It also the screen does not stay on all the time, <laughs> you know, or if it does, it can't tell you the seconds. Or do you want a watch that has a 30 day battery life, but it doesn't show you seconds and the notification and it doesn't have notifications. And I'm like, I want all of it, you know? I and, thought about getting an, an, oh, sorry, you're not done. Uh, I was sorry. just gonna say, the watch I have right now, it does have all of it. Like it'll show seconds. It has a 20 to 30 day battery life. But the problem is it, it no longer, it doesn't say sync with my phone. So I don't get notifications anymore. So I'm not just gonna buy like the exact same one and expect it to work. So kind of sucks. Cronium, I was so confused. Because you, you filled my things with water, and I was going and I was like, I know I've only filled two of these. Is the rain <laughs> filling it up? <laughs> um, I thought I was going insane. Yes, I do want the soil tilled. Thank you. Um, I've thought about getting an Apple Watch, but I, I wear one watch mm -hmm. uh, since the eighth grade, so I don't yeah. think I'm going to change it up anytime soon. Can I give you a recommendation? Um, because I did the same thing where I just I was not I never wore watches, but I kind of wanted the smartwatch. I would recommend getting the watch that I have, which is the Amaze Fit Bip, because it goes on sale for sixty bucks. It has pretty much all the features you want. It has the thirty day battery life. It's just not super fancy. It's not super big. And the big thing is that it's cheap enough that you can buy it and wear it for a couple months and then decide if it's worth the two three hundred bucks for something fancier. Um, gotcha. and. I would still be using that watch. It's just that's the one that it stopped connecting to my phone, and I don't know if it's a watch issue or a phone issue. But other than that, it was yeah. working fine for like a year and a half. So yeah, I, it's just I'm not gonna wear a different watch than the one I already wear, so oh. it's not worth it. But I, yeah. I got like like other stuff. I got AirPods on sale, mm -hmm. like the first generation, and those I love. Um, so I'm not like against Apple products at all, but I just know. I like wearing my other watch too much to. <laughs> yeah, and plus, I probably would rarely use it. But... Oh my god. Okay, I need to see. Cyberlong, what do you mean by phantoms? Oh, those things are terrifying. Are those the ones that, like, they're on horseback and the lightning? No, they're like wraiths, sort of like. They're like. You know what? They're like. Uh, uh, rays? Stingrays, but. Don't in be the racist. Sky. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're like racist stingrays, but in the sky. Oh. I'm in bed with Ian. Oh, well, we don't have a third bed. Good night. Let me go see if I can find one. Yeah, they sound annoying. I'm going to go find a sheep. I need to make another hoe. Hey, PG-13, please. Sorry, I need to make another hooker. I've been watching The Sopranos. Um, good show. And there's this one character who always says, Hua. Hua. So he's just like, who cares? She was a Hua. It's great. It's... Like, he doesn't even have, like, a super thick accent. It's just that word in particular. He can't say properly. Hua. Anyways. Um, I'm uncomfortable. Good show. How do I have 63 torches? When did I make 63 torches? I feel like you made a, a bunch of torches at the beginning. Oh, man, I'm dual wielding torches right now, Ian. Are you proud of yourself or something? The only problem with this shader pack is I feel like it doesn't give light enough strength. Oh. Which I think I can turn radiance up. 
I should send you the one that I'm using because it's real good. It it looks like ray tracing. It's crazy. I don't think I want to put that much more stress on my machine. Though. Unless but you what should, I'm doing already is ray tracing. But I don't think I do. Like I have a smaller video card than you, and running at 1080, it's fine. I just can't run it at 4K. So you should be fine on your 2070 Super running at your slightly higher resolution. Dude, zombie, I'm trying to place a torch. So if you could F off, that would be... That skeleton just shot him for me. Thank you. Can we uh, talk about the great tragedy I have suffered over the last several days? Oh, boy. Yes, we can talk about that. I feel bad about that. So, yeah, long story short, I got a 3080. I ordered it off Amazon, and they were like, great, it's going to be shipped in early January. And then I got an email two days later that was like, hey, sorry, we're going to cancel that order. There was a mistake. So Perfect. still looking for a 3080, and things are crazy. I went to Micro Center this morning, which is basically like a fries. It's like a computer store. Um, I went there this morning. I got there like 10 minutes after they opened just because I was like oh. up a little early. And um, I was just there to get not a graphics card, but just to get a filament for my 3D printer. And this is 10 minutes after they opened. There was no exaggeration, 30 people waiting in line outside the store. And I, I think they do it not every day, but several times a week whenever they think that the store is going to get a FedEx shipment of cards. Wow. And to be clear, this is 92, 93 days after the card was launched. So people are just waiting. Nope. This, this is so hard to get these cards. Oh, boy. And I bet to some degree... Or to a lot of degree that uh, Nvidia's pissed because they're like, we want to sell these cards because we want to yeah. make money. They they just announced a deal with Samsung, where the basic gist of the deal was they like threw a bunch of money at them and they're like, convert more of your factories to to making chips for these cards. And Samsung's like, okay, you paid us enough money. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we'll give you more factory floor. <laughs> so I mean, it should be coming down eventually, but literally three months after launch and it's still almost impossible to get the, one of these cards it's crazy yeah it really is crazy um i'm just glad i got the series x because if i did not have the, the series x i basically would be struggling to play cyberpunk right now on my 1080 because that card barely does 1080p on cyberpunk the gtx 1080 so yeah. At, at 30 FPS, so. Oh, hey, speaking of Cyberpunk, you done any smart weapons? Yeah, I don't like them that much. I, I, I like them. And I saw some videos of people, like, I don't want to say they were maxed out, but they had, like, a full smart weapon build, and they had, like, the double jump, and they had, like, the, you know, like, more damage while sprinting, all that sort of stuff. And they were just, like like speed running these missions basically and it was like the most cyberpunk i have seen this game because they also had hacks and so they were just like bursting through an area and like looking at somebody and like quick hacking them and then like looking to somebody else and just doing a bunch of like smart weapon at them and it was crazy how quick they were taking people down and just like clearing an area so i'm, I'm trying yeah. to build towards that a little bit yeah i um i have a sniper a shotgun, and I have Johnny's pistol now, so mostly using that. Oh, that's neato. Yeah, there's what's the thing on Johnny's pistol? It seems like it's easier to get headshots with it. It's also like I think it shoots shotgun slugs because it like oh. blows people's heads off. And then the melee on that is fire breath, which is great. Yes, that's cool because I feel like I, I keep doing the gun melee and it feels like it barely feels like it tickles them, and that's it. Yeah, basically, basically a hand cannon. Can I can you know, I ask you a question, but don't yeah. give me any details? Yeah. Okay. 
the sixth stat category. Have you unlocked that yet? No, I have no idea. Yeah. Even Jeff it Gersman... You select it. Yeah, but it doesn't show anything, right? It just glitches yeah. out. Exactly. Because even Jeff Gersman was... He was, like, almost at the end of the game when he mentioned that he saw that and he still has no idea what it is. And I'm like, what, what could it be? It's basically, Order like... DLC. Yeah, so for those who aren't playing the game, there's, there's stat categories like luck, reflexes, body, etc., which are basically, like, you know, strength intelligence etc and there's a stat category in the stat tree that is it's like a glitch effect it's not populated right now and like normally that's kind of a cool thing but i'm starting to think maybe it never unlocks which is weird i don't know you should get maggie who doesn't care about the game to look up look it up <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I've got three, three beds now. Ten eleven now. Yeah. Got to play for another twelve hours. I know, right? Just gonna play all night. So I have to go to brunch tomorrow. Oh, I did get my COVID result. I am negative. Congratulations, baby boy. I can now resume coughing on everyone. Come here, chicken. Man, imagine if you died from COVID. I'd have to start taking it seriously. Either that or go after the government. I'm not sure which one yet. Yeah. <laughs> Either that or st <laughs> no, don't wear a mask even harder. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, people suck. Man, uh, this the ground looks really cool when it rains. It's like all wet. Oh, yeah. That's for sure. Excuse me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm just walking around in circles. I don't really know what I want to do. Oh, uh, the classic Minecraft wander. Uh, you can get more seeds. I can start building my house. Yeah, I'll get you more seeds. You know, I don't think the castle will be my house. I'm going to build a house overlooking my little farm. I think the castle... Oh, you know what? The castle's right above the mine. So I think it it's a castle facade, but really it has all the furnace and uh, storage. What do you oh, think? Smart. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I'm going to build my house over here. more spruce trees. Bum, bum, bum. Ba -dum, ba -da 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 -dum. Oh, there's wolves over here. Oh, man, fell in the water. Hi. I'm excited for Christmas. You excited? I am excited for Christmas. It's a wonderful time of year. And I'm going up to my parents' house where I can relax and watch movies. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm on vacay now. I have two weeks off. I don't know what I'm going to oh, do nice. with my life. Yeah, COVID, like being home this week from waiting for the COVID test kind of ruined. I wanted to take the last week of December off. Yeah. But now. I don't think my boss would like that now, since we're like a week behind on a bunch of stuff. But who knows? It, it, the main thing that caused trouble this week is all three of us were out. Oh, so yeah. If I was gone the last week of December, it would just be one of my gone. Which is a huge deal. I gotta get more model making done. I mean, I've been working on it, but I think I counted like 20 kits that I have in my backlog. Nice. I, uh, I've started putting together a list of, uh, so I finished, um, I built a, on, what day was it? it? Took me like a day and a half. I built a paper train station. Mm -hmm. Nice. And, uh, so I think that's like the last little building 
I have left. Everything else I have in my like uh, collection stack mm -hmm. is there's four buildings from Spirited Away that I kind of don't feel like building right now. Yeah. And then everything else is like vending machines, food stalls, phone booths, which are like oh. this tall. And yeah. I don't want to build any of that stuff until I have the table laid out so I can like place them. Um, so I think I'm going to order a couple more like apartment buildings. And yeah. I think there's, there's a cool like fire station stuff. I like building those uh, uh, models. Pretty good. Oops. That's not where I went. But I do, once my, uh, I think. Once we move to a bigger place, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna do a little setup for like airbrushing and get back into some more plastic models. Yeah, I can. I can. Uh, help you out because I, I did it for fairly cheap, so I can give you some pointers on how to get that airbrush set up for fairly cheap. Yeah, that'd be nice. I need to. Um, I need to find a table, like a thirty by thirty inch table, to put. I've decided basically to have my airbrush set up all the time. Um, so I need like a small 30 by 30 inch table to set it up. But the problem is that's a weird size to find and I don't have access to my parents' shop anymore, so I can't. Um, I can't easily just like build one or buy one and modify it. You should have Zach cut out the pieces. Oh my and send God. That'd be great, Gray. I've actually, I have sitting on my computer. Actually, I don't know if it's still on my computer. It used to be. Um, uh, CNC, like, patterns, vector patterns for, uh, oh, I'm coming to sleep. Vector patterns for an arcade cabinet. Because mm. I want to cut that out and build those. Zach literally said make arcade in the chat. Yeah. I want to do one of those. I want to do a like a stand up one, but I want to build a top down one for like warlords mm -hmm. or something. Oh, did I tell you? Um, I um, I tried a new airbrushing technique. It sounds a little wonky, but it actually works really well. Um, so normally when you airbrush, you do a flat coat, but the problem is like. It's like a flat coat, if that makes sense. So if you imagine like, imagine like an airplane body, if you do a flat coat of like silver, then it's just all silver. Um, yeah. Like it's a great coat. There's no brush strokes, but it's, it looks a little flat. So what people do is they, the panel lines, before they paint the flat coat, they take black and they just outline the panel lines, like pretty thick and messy. But you basically just trace the panel lines and certain details with the black. And then you do your airbrush coat on top. But you are you be careful to like, you don't have to, you just do a light coat over the panel line section. And that way the black underneath like gives just a little tint of darkness to the top coat. And it, it it's weird because it's like a, it sounds like a weird technique that wouldn't really work. But it immediately gives depth. It basically turns it from a single flat color into like three different blended colors and the panel line areas are darker than the main area so they pop more. I like that. Yeah, so I tried that for the first time today and it actually worked really well. Like literally the only difficulty I have is when I'm doing the top coat, the main color coat, you have to be careful not to put too much down because if you do, then you completely cover the black and you lose that shadowing or highlighting. So you have to like I don't want to say carefully blend in, but you have to just be careful not to not to leave any blanks because then you see like the plastic through it, but also not put too much down. But for a first attempt, came out real good. That's like when uh, back when I painted Warhammer figures, like figuring out washing. Yeah. And like doing that stuff. Yeah. Made stuff pops. Even if like you did a bad, somewhat bad job, it still made it look so good. Yeah, that's why I love that that the liquid panel liner that I have. Like I, I just had the black one, but now I have like a, I have a light gray and I have a, a rust colored one. 
Ooh. And you just like paint it on something and it like adds, it's basically a wash. It's great. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. My house. This way. Here. Okay. And then. Here. Okay. And then. What is gold and glowstone arrow? Okay, this is a riddle Zach has sent us. Oh, okay, so Zach, if you... That is your claim. So that is land that only you can touch and build on for right now. So when you place down your first chest, it's going to make that as your claim. If you do a slash unclaim while you're standing there, then it will unclaim that plot. I'm assuming you're talking about the gold and the glowstone arrow on the ground. Um, so I think, I don't know, it's completely up to you, but I think for me, I'm not going to claim anything myself unless we start having problems and then I'll claim it. Yeah, I'm going to just claim where my house is. Yeah, and you could do you could do slash trust space player name to trust somebody to build in that area. And you can also do a slash container trust space player name to say that they can use containers in that area but not build um and then to expand your claim just go to the discord and watch the video but basically you use a golden shovel and you can like right click those arrows on the ground and you can like literally draw a bigger boundary on the ground oh uh, hark this uh this house is looking way too good yeah get it out of here you might gonna slip bad. Hey, what? Uh, I'm gonna ask a, a very personal question. Um, what's your what's your tool strategy in terms of the quick bar one through nine? Where do you put where do you put which tool? Uh, I go sword. Actually, no. Uh, I usually do pickaxe, axe, shovel, sword, torches. Oh, okay. Yeah, I and do. The other three are like quick slot. Yeah, I do pickaxe, shovel, axe, sword. And then for some reason, I like to throw torches all the way at the end. I don't know why. And then, and then, um, and then quick stuff. Yeah. Zach, I don't remember. Uh, I actually, for that Minecraft video I did, I looked up when Alexander bought me Minecraft. Um, but we we ran that first server. I want to say, like, it might have been 2011, 2012. I mean, I started I started in 2009 or 10. It might have been 10. I'm I'm looking it up right now. I remember I started. Right before survival multiplayer. I had uh, him send it. Okay. Gotta look at our script. Right. Yeah, 2010, early 2010. Because survival multiplayer was August of 2010. So I, I think I started playing like June, July of 2010. Yeah, December 2010. I think. Yeah, so just a couple months after, after me. I like the craziest thing about early Minecraft was um, seeing Notch. It was like before Minecraft got super big. So he would hang out in the Minecraft thread on 4chan and just like respond to questions and stuff. And I think I chatted with him once or twice, like, you know, posting a question or something and he would respond to it because it was like a small game that was getting attention. But he would just like hang out in the thread and be like, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Or be like, oh, no, I can't do that. Or be like, oh, I'm not sure when it's coming, but I'm working on it right now. And it was like, 
That was cool. Yeah, 12-12-2010 is the date of Alexander's receipt. <laughs> which is, that's when I I played Classic, that the, the online one, yeah. the browser one, the summer before. Or 2009. Or 2000, um, 2010 summer. Yeah, 2010 summer. And then yeah. I was like, oh, let me download it. And then it was survival. And I was like, this is stupid. I hate this. Yeah. And then, uh, then it switched back over. I, I feel like we've talked about this before. Did you ever play the um, the lava mode on the browser version? There were like it was like a lava game, and there was like lava servers. Oh, I don't think so. I think I would remember that. Um, it. So basically, you would join a server, and it was kind of like creative, where you could place any blocks or break any blocks immediately. And you would join a server and it would be like a map, like, but it'd be like a limited size map. So it'd be like a moon or a community or like a flat space. And then there would be lava at the, at the sky level. And it would be like 10 minutes to lava. And after 10 minutes, the lava would fall slowly from the top. And if you got touched by the lava, then you died. And there was like a timer going. So you're trying to like survive that long. And how you survived was by building structures like so if you had a house and it was completely sealed the lava wouldn't get in and depending on the server it would slowly eat through some of the materials so like if you built a wood house it would eat through the wood pretty quickly but if you built like a, an iron house it wouldn't eat through it so people would do that and then you could kind of build tunnels through the lava by like quick placing blocks to like you know like to take the place of the lava and then you place one beyond it so people would like build houses build tunnels between the houses but then people would either grief or make a mistake and they would like hit a block wrong and all of a sudden their house would flood so they'd like come running down the tunnel and like they're like trying to like seal the tunnel behind them and like the lava slowly <laughs> coming and it, so it was basically like like a like a 10 minute build period and then the lava came and it was like survive 10 minutes so after 20 minutes total it'd be like okay and then it would just like kick over the server and it would load a new map and go all over again and it was some of the best I've ever played. It was like 30, 40 people on a server. And you're all just like running around building these weird houses. But then you're like trying to like link them through the lava. Oh, it's so good. Such a great mode. I don't think it exists anymore. I tried to find it recently. That's pretty cool. I like that. <sighs> what am I doing with my life? What are you doing with your life? Oh, let's sleep. I built more beds. Yay, I should bring one with me. I have an arrow sticking out of my leg, and when it lay when I lay down it looks like I'm excited. What do you mean? Uh, excited to be sleeping. What yeah. are you not usually excited to be sleeping? Yeah, you're right. I love sleeping. Yay! Oh, that was so weird. It just popped all of us out of bed. And I saw it. I think uh, Cyberlong and I got there the exact same time. I'm Get away from me, zombie. No. One second. I heard Maggie yawn. Are you coming to the bed? Maggie, I'm trying to play video games with my friend. Okay, I gotta go to bed. Uh, wow. I can't Ma believe that. Ma Maggie's excuse, it's a valid excuse, is that the bed is cold, and I am apparently her uh, heat source in the bed. So Yeah, that's the same. I guess. But folks, we're not going anywhere, because this server is going to be up for several months. I know I'm going to be playing most of the day tomorrow. Um, I think uh, we're not going to stream very often, like I said, maybe once or twice a month. So the great thing is, I don't know if y'all been paying attention, but the community Discord... The chat between the Minecraft server and the community Discord is synced. Here, I'll, I'll try it right now. Boom. So, we basically have a chat log, but also a way to chat back and forth. So, the idea is, you know, for example, if I said, hey, I need some iron. If you guys could dump it in my chest, I could just put that in the Discord or in the in-game chat. And then you guys can see it, whether you're in the game or not. So we can coordinate things, you know, if you're building a house, if you find something cool, you could put the coordinates in the Discord. 
that's how we're going to kind of uh, communicate and keep things going. You can also do signs in game. So just because we're not necessarily all going to be on at the same time, you can always be like, hey, I'm playing now if anybody wants to join or, you know, hey, if you guys want to do this, I built this chest here if you guys want to use it or I built a new furnace area, etc. We can always coordinate. We're going to have a lot of fun. This is just a place for us to hang out and chill and invite your friends, play some Minecraft. Um, if you have any server issues, just hit me up on the Discord. Uh, my tag is at Think Gibson and I can can look into it. Um, but other than that, you know, we're Subpixel. We're going to be streaming again on Tuesday. What are we streaming on Tuesday? Christmas games. Woo! That's right. Will's going to be streaming Christmas games. Will's going to be streaming Christmas games? Uh, maybe I'm. I don't remember. Um, But either way, Tuesday, Merry 9 p.m. Christmas. Eastern. Uh, subpixelfilms.com that takes you right to our YouTube channel. We've got a bunch of videos up there for you guys to enjoy, including a brand new coming up this Monday, Iceland behind the scenes from Will. Um, you can find more content from me on Twitter at Think Gibson and from Will at Hunt270. Thank you guys so much for joining. Keep playing. I'll be on tomorrow. I'll just keep keep building. God, it feels good to be playing Minecraft again, doesn't it? Yep. Door Fortress Monday. Well, folks, we'll see y'all later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.